15-year-old Cashton Phillips was born with a number of medical issues, including cerebral palsy and epilepsy. He is nonverbal and requires 24-hour attention. Throughout his life, Cashton has been dependent on his family and healthcare workers. From monitoring his feeding tubes to following his medication and sleep schedule, they are constantly at his side. Cashton is a very patient, happy, positive part in my life and he he's always giving back and I'm just so thankful to have my my son uh, Cashton yes uh, <laughs> uh, and we fondly call him animal because he's just a, a animal from the Muppet show because he's like ah, I'm excited to do everything and be our supervisor in any role in anything that we do Recently, Cashton has been supervising basement renovations at this house in Fort St. John. It's the family's dream home, and soon they would like to open the doors for others with special needs in the community. A facility, for example, that is caring more of a, um, a home environment. That's what we're trying to create here. A happy place, you know, people that children would want to come here. Not because they have to, but they're excited to come here. Residents were invited to tour the respite home at an open house event over the weekend. The home is intended to support local children with special needs and all their family members will providing the unique care they need. Our elevator here is top of the line elevator and um, we're setting it up as, as comfortable as possible for children to come here in this homey environment as I was saying. We have the snow zone room, a multi-sensory room, you know, that could relax uh, kids with disability and, and, and all. So, um, and we have actually a family suite as well, eventually for if families would want to come as a, as a family, you know, because you cannot go to a hotel with trackings here in town or anybody else. So here we would, this would be equipped with trackings and a 24-7 20, care. And, and you know that you're, you're in a home environment. The family is reaching out to the community to help them make their dream home a reality. In the backyard, they would like to add landscaping, a wheelchair swing set, sunken trampoline, and eventually a hydrotherapy pool and outdoor covered kitchen. Inside, the family would like to finish the multi-sensory room, add hospital-style beds with proper roof trackings, and complete modifications in the bathroom. Their goal is to provide much-needed care to families here in the Peace Region. We're going to be impacting people's lives in a positive way um, and not just our own life but the community in the, in the northern region. That's what's going to be the biggest difference is that it's we're helping others, we're giving back and there's so much joy in that. And if you're going through it yourself, you know what it means to have a helping hand and we'd like to give that helping hand back to the community. Donations for Cashton's Community Respite Home can be made at the Royal Bank. The family is also looking for volunteers who can help with construction and renovations. Brendan Miller, CJDC-TV News, Fort St. John.